Welcome even to the HRIR update with the beer and from SVR HR Learning Academy. Here we are providing you the latest update on HR and industrial relations. This is a update on the your higher pension on EPFO on the higher wages. The pension you are demanding higher and it is also the higher tension for the employer and HR now. So here I'm providing you some insight how you can solve this problem. However, the government agencies, they did not provide any right kind of solution so far since it was the board number 2022 when the Supreme Court is, uh, passed a judgment related to the higher pension on the pension on higher wages that should be paid and it is the right of the every pensioner or the EPFO subscriber. But how? What are the loopholes and how you can just try to get uh, rid of this uh, situation? So here we are. Pension on higher wages is the higher tension for the employer as well as the HR. Especially how this problem become an issue for uh, the organization and when it is started. So uh, let's suppose in 1995 when the government under the Employee Provision Miscellaneous Provision Act 19, 1952 it has been introduced the pension scheme and according to this pension scheme there was the total uh, the share of the contribution by the employer and employer 24 percent out of the employer part. So it was the share of the employee pension scheme 8.33 percent of the employer share so now why it is a big tension and what is happening here and why it is a big trouble for the hr just understand three and four dates you require to be here understand so here i'm sharing with you three and four dates so four dates you have to be remember number one date it is the 4 november 2022 what is this date? This is where the respected that the higher pension or pension on higher wages should be accepted and the it is the matter of social security and it should be provided all those employees who have the employees who have the higher paid or whose wages are higher than the ceiling. So it was okay. So when this situation has been come into the existence, how it is happening, for instance, understand. So there was one Sham and Ram. They were working in the organization. One working is MNC, for example. One is the Indian organization. Since or before, prior to 1-9-2014, it was okay because the ceiling was 6500 for PF and the pension scheme as well as the EPFO. So there was no issue. In that case, maximum organization. Here it was the situation okay, but Indian organization, it was still okay, whatever the wages or the salary of an employee. So 12% of their basic plus DA but deducting as the 12% and 12% uh, share of the employer was put it into the the scheme has been introduced. Which scheme? The employee pension scheme was introduced in 1995 or a retirement scheme. In a retirement scheme, it was decided that the employee part will go to the EPF and employer part, the 12% will go to the EPS and EPF. So it means here this is the 8.33 percent whatever the wages or salary the basic plus da 12 percent by the employer and 8.33 what will be here that will be go to the pension scheme whatever either at time the ceiling was 6500 or it is around 15000 whatever is there so situation here you have to be keep that is the Sham working in MNC and Ram working in Indian company. Where the company who have the well, they are caring about the social security of their employee, so they have been the same to all. What it was just first go to here the situation come from the this 
9, 2014. When the EPFO change or increase the ceiling, base ceiling for EPF 15,000 rupees. In this 15,000 rupees, what they have been done? So there, the another situation they have been created. That situation was the, the PF ceiling was here or increase for the 15,000 rupees where the PF need to be detected. There was earlier and in that case, earlier it was the 6,500 and post on many organizations they were paying the PF or otherwise exempt the employee if their wages are more than if their wages are more wages. So in that 1500 what the organization has been done or the EPFO has been done. So they have been divided the employee pension scheme. If the organization, the company MNC, they are paying on the higher wages. If your salary is 20,000 basic plus DA, you are paying 2400 rupees or employer also paying 2400 rupees in four. So how it was going to? So here 8.33 percent of this whatever is there it was going into the pension scheme. But after this amendment here it has been done. So employee pension scheme the ceiling has been fixed for 15,000 means whatever the if it is a, the higher wages you are deducting but in the pension scheme it will be go only 1250 rupees and rest if your epf amount that is about or that is around 2400 so out of uh, this one so 1150 will go to the employee provident fund 6 7 percent plus the remaining part so here the situation which become awkward for the organization and now the hr when there was the case held so what is the situation is happening here so there was the one another issue where there was a one clause number 11 3 here when this new amendment has been made so there was given the time period of the six months to the employer and employee submit the joint option for higher pension till six months it was uh, from the march 2015 and then after this clause so members who does not have opt for the higher pension and the here come to the indian mnc or indian organization who just thought to deduct deduct the pf on 15000 only that is okay but the next case which has been made by the epfo that was about the the pension fixed on 15000 rupees 8.33 or 1250 rupees only in the case if your wages are 50000 rupees in pension it will be go only this much now so i have been shared with you you have to be remember the three and four dates what are those dates so here i am sharing that with you the dates one that is 4 11 20 22 then after it was the 29 12 2022 as well as the 05 1 2023 then 25 1 2023 as well as the 22 23 and another date is now here 30 23 4 2023 what are these dated so this is the date Number one, when the Supreme Court has been given the judgment that the higher pension should be accepted and it should be calculated for all those employees who has been paid. 
and then after 2911 first epfo issue the notification they are working on it for the many notification they had been made one form was provided where the organization and the employee make the joint application for what for the higher pension or pension on higher wages means what is your wages here you are paying the 1500 for the pension but now it should be paid on the actual wages of the pf contribution for example it is the 20000 so 8.33 of this wage should be or amount should be go to the pension account so it has been made so now there this is the another one important which is the latest it has been said so this has been 20 has been given so the 3 5 2023 is the last date for submission of the but in application there are also the many requirement which has been required by the epfo there if the employee that is uh, putting their joint option so they required also to submit their uh, the total amount of wages and contribution they have been paid from their joining date if any individual has been joined or he has been left or joined for a different organization can he remember it is one of the difficulty and secondly there is also the authentication option provided by this new notification by the epfo so it need to be validated by the employer after that epfo will employ uh, that validate it and further they will be processed further so this is the situation here so just understand what is the case and what is this all the case of the epfo and how it is going to be happening and this the higher pension contribution under epfo it is going to help you so in this situation how it is going to be become higher tension for you they were issue after the 2014 when the amendment regarding the pension contribution on higher salaries uh, has been introduced or implemented many employees they have been issued that they did not know about the exercise of the joint option for the higher pension even they have been done or not done there are the two situations what can employer here are also the two situation either here organization even no one will tell you this you have the epf deducting on 50 15 000 rupees or either epf deducting on the 50 000 plus higher means 16 000 what is your base so the issue is here it is here no issue because there are no option you are fixing it here issue is coming to this part where the mncs you are paying what the actual basic salary and contribution on this but the pension part employee pension you are just paying 15 1250 rupees only however inside there is nothing you have to be paid further but the as of now it has been confirmed that epfo will make adjustment what adjustment because the remaining part has been put into the employee provident fund account so it will be transferred from here to adjust the 8.33 of actual from date of effective so however earlier it was there it should be effected from 2000 here number one you need to understand who is eligible for that there are the two types of the condition which has been prescribed by the supreme court in their judgment so that is one is the retired employees as who are the existing employees who are paying this much already paying the higher pension so in that case what you have to do how you have to be exercise that is so many employees filed the cases however that has been already the judgment has been held by the supreme court so in that case there are the different types of the situation who is 
applicable and who is eligible for the higher pension so what is employee in services as on 1 9 2014 who are who was sorry that who was in services so here i can prepare the chart for you and that you can better understand it here so here so the situation you have to be understand so this is the employee 1 9 2014 who was on job Employees in services as on 1 9 2014 service in as in 1 9 14 so exercise joint option and rejected by the employee there was one situation they have already exercised but rejected due to some reason or the clause number 11 3 which has been omitted by the epfo so there is the one situation so it is applicable to them number two who was employee on 1 9 2014 but not exercise the joint option due to any reason they don't know it so it is also available to them so they can fill it however as of now there are the only some dates for the filling it was the my third is the last date for the submission and then after it is the other cases so employee who has been retired before so here is the retired employee who has been retired before 2014 september 1 so what is happening here so who has been employee they are retired so exercise joint option and rejected by the employee it is applicable to them and employee retired before not exercise for this so they are rejected so this is the application who has to be made so next one the situation is here now what you have to do so here when it come to the any employee mr shah become the member of epf in 1998 he has not exercised the joint option even the salary has been increased or his salary is the 50000 in 2015 so his employer contribution has been made 6000 in case of the 12% for the basic toward the epf and other cases of the employer contribution 8.33 that has been paid to the issue which i have been already shared with you for example so there are the two situation just understand so that is the wages are 50000 rupees here is the epf here is the employee pension so after 2015 what has been done or what is happening or from the effectiveness of this case so here it is the due total it is 6000 here it is going as per the pension so here it was the rate of 8.33 percent plus 3.67 percent so here the changes has been done it will be the capping of 15000 so here it will be go the 1250 rupees and the remaining of your 47 that will be 4750 will be go here so the case is related to this now it is required on the actual the judgment has been given based on it should be based on the uh, the actual also so here the pension will be go how much it will be around go to the it will be 8.33 so the actual pension is here this much so it will be go into the pension scheme so 1200 this has been paid and the remaining part so that so that is the situation in the case of adjustment done by epfo but after the joint application submission by employee and now the judgment of 234 it has been providing the procedure to how it will be scrutinized and validating for validation the issue is going to happen the employee have to tells of from there since they are joining the employee pension or epfo contribution their wages how many organization they have been joined so there it has to be provided this is the number one part but now here the situation and you may have the question who can be eligible for this new pension scheme who will be available or who will be eligible for this higher pension and who can avail it now so that especially you have to be considered 
whom you are here you have considered the 15000 here here it is who has been considered ever to the 15000 rupees a total epfo contribution you are paying so there you have to be consider it so it will be specially happening at the retirement after the retirement the monthly pension will be paid according to the higher wages so it means the employee who will be make this application and uh, which will be adjusted so they will get the higher pension otherwise the pension will be according to the 15000 rupees as per the service period or you have been spent so this is in case it is the case of okay here is no issue you have to consider this but this is the issue for here even though the joint option employer and employee have to submit after approving epfo will done done this but 1.16 percent admin charges need to be paid by the employer deduct from the employee that is also one of the implication for the employer and in the case what is happening but for apply how you can apply so you have to go to the online submit the form there are only two three days either you have been applied it but further the scrutiny related to uh, this guideline for the higher pension and the scrutiny how they are going to be do so the circulation of the uh, 23 4 2023 we will discuss into the another uh, session so how you have to be how it will be validated and who will be finally or who will finally get the validated by epfo the field officer validated it based on the data they have available and data you have been provided when it will be okay so then epfo will make the changes but it will also still long process it will be also come finally so what is going to be happen into the however the date may be extended also it may be happen and may be done basically on the date of the may third uh, may 2023 it may be extended further the date but you have to be which and what uh, you have to be wait and watch but it is also the demand and uh, communicating making it settle as in the pension on higher wages so it is the higher tension for the hr so you have to be keep connected with us we are providing the little bit great insight how to make it possible to handle this situation and there should be no act for the your ir situation into the organization